Welcome back, Fishaholics. Foul mouth fishing. Um, who doesn't like free stuff, right? So, coming up, you're going to have about uh, seven days, maybe ten, by the time I post this, uh, to enter to win a big box of free goodies. So, real quick, um, it's going to be July, around the corner, and that's my birthday month. So, I decided, as part of my family's tradition, uh, on our birthdays, where we give generosity out rather than Rather than celebrating our birds, when I became an adult, it became like a family tradition that we would go and do things for others. So we'd go take somebody out to dinner or, uh, or donate time and, and do things for charity. So for this year, uh, one of the things that I'm going to do uh, for the foulmouth fishing fam and uh, all my hookaholics out there, um, I thought it would be nice uh, to give away a big box of free presents to one of you lucky viewers. So... Basically what I got in here, I'll just break it down. Um, it's basically, it's a starter kit for anybody who wants to get into fishing who's never had anything, you know, shy of the rod, uh, for fishing. So, I'm going to include, first and foremost, a brand new little tackle bag. It's a convenient little pocket-sized tackle bag. It's not too big, it's not too, you know, too small. Uh, plenty of pockets on the sides. I keep one, I keep this in my trunk of my car, just, you know, on the go, I can grab anything. It's got, comes with three Plano style trays inside uh, for your hard baits or whatever. Uh, there's a pocket on the top which opens up, plenty of room and space in there. Uh, it's got pouches on either side, it's got a hard case on the very top protected for your sunglasses, um, little velcro grab handle and it also comes with its own little shoulder strap is in there if you want to sling it over your shoulder uh, to make it a little more convenient for carrying. So that, that's going to be part of it. Secondly, uh, if you're like me and you're constantly fiddling to fix your rods or what have you, this multi-tool. Um, this thing has become invaluable to me. It comes with uh, screwdrivers, knives for cutting off line and things, uh, bottle opener, pencils, you know, it's got bells and whistles. It's got a, um, a set of, of uh, sockets for taking uh, nuts and things off if you're on the boat or, or if you got to fix out something on the reel. This has uh, come in handy to take the, the star drag off for me a couple of times to handle. Um, and most importantly, it comes with a little center punch slash sort of rasp. So in the corner is this kind of little tiny center punch, and I've used that so many times to clear out the paint and, and the uh, clear coat off of uh, jig heads and, and hooks and things uh, so that I could run my line through. That, that's been invaluable. So I always keep this on hand. So that's going to come to you. That's a, that's a decent value right there. And then the piece de resistance, the main thing this box of goodies here. So I just grabbed a bunch of my, you know, things that I like to fish with, confidence baits, and things that I think are generally acceptable across any any place. Because I don't know anyone in the continental United States um, will be have their their chance to win this. And obviously, waterways are different in California from Tennessee, from Washington, from you know, upstate New York, me here in Jersey or down in Florida. But there are certain things that just transcend location. Um, I threw in here a couple of handfuls of things that are just baits that I use, just confidence stuff so you could try, uh, not necessarily full packs, they're just like, here's a, a color and a, and a style of beaver that I like, and a color and a style of uh, brush hog that I like, so I threw in just a Ziploc bag of those, but uh, obviously I'm not just going to give you, you know, uh, half packs of baits, so I also went out, I got some, here's some Jack, Jackal 3 inch, little Yum Dinger style, and a green pumpkin pepper. Um, these are awesome little baits. I've caught a lot of, of smallmouth on that and largemouth. I've got some Daiwa black and blue. These are these uh, five inch Nico worms, the Nico fat worms. Um, these work great either Nico rigged or Carolina rigged, Texas rigged, and, and even wacky rigged I've, I've caught on these. So, so these are great. Um, they're Gary Yamamoto designs, so you know they're good. Uh, I threw in some young black and blue and yum white so if you got dirty water or you got clear water with a shad spawn you got dirty water you can go with the black blue um, these are just their their um, their swim dingers so they're they're yum dinger but they've got the paddle tail on the back so again you can run these texas rigged and swim them you can put them on a, on a shaky head you can drop shot them you can do whatever you want worms are are the most versatile bait by non um, again like i said i bought a, a few just handfuls of colors and styles that I like to fish, um, Texas rigged or, or weightless, 
I got some craw baits and some some beaver tails and some purple, black, blue. I got some uh, a couple of chunks in there for trailers for your your whatever jig head you like to use. Um, some brush hog, another another beaver and tail style. Uh, some more craw patterns and the root beer colors that I like, the copper tones. Uh, obviously, green pumpkin, red flake is in there. I got some yum dingers, green pumpkin, red flake, always always good. Watermelon red, I should say. Um, a couple of toads, because this is everybody likes top water, so I got you know, I got some watermelon with a chartreuse, some green pumpkin, salt and pepper. Uh, I got a nice one with a that I love to work in um, in clear water, which is this white gold shiver, silver belly uh, toad with a with the chartreuse feet. That works out well. Uh, I got a couple of uh, some jerk baits for you to try out. Um, some Japanese import, you can't really get this everywhere. Uh, standard bomber, it's always good. Another bomber for a rattle trap. Everybody knows a rattle trap catches bait. Um, I got a deep diver in here just because I don't know wherever this goes. There might be some people with some good deep lakes or some old mining quarries that go down, you know, 10, 15, 20 feet. Um, this one is, I think, 12 to 22 deep diver. Uh, I got some, obviously, some crank baits. Uh, Nice little copper shot, shoot copper tone. Always good. I've got my Rapala. I'm a big fan of Rapala baits. So I've got the scatter wraps, and these are those special cupped um, lips. So when they go through the water, they shimmy quite a bit. They're, they're a good vibration. I got them in a series of colors. You got your crawfish pattern, you got your bluegill pattern, a couple more uh, small brush hogs in, in a tone that I like. Another JDM product. A nice little crayfish that you can uh, have a have a go at, and of course, no fishing gear is is complete without a couple packs of fishing line. I got a 10 and 12 pound for you. You're gonna get that. I've got terminal tackle in the way of some some weights. I got some uh, eight ounce. I got some drop shot cylinder weights. These are 316s for your drop shot rigs. I've got some little worm weights. Like I said, an eighth ounce. I've got a, also a three sixteenth in here. Here they are. I got some three sixteenth ounce weights for you. I've got these JDM bugs you can't get anywhere, and these are a very rare um, commodity, coelopods. So I'm throwing in a pack of those. I've got this guy here, which is one of my favorite ways to keep my license. So we have your fishing license. This protects it, keeps it dry keeps the sun off of it so it doesn't fade out because we know that that heat ink that they use or heat paper that they use to print it out it gets hot and it smudges off and you lose it so once you signed it put it in here keeps it protected it's got a little clear window so you can just flash it to the you know to the warden tell the game warden yes I've got my license your numbers are exposed also I'm going to throw in one of these plastic knives these are great to keep in your wallet um, helps you cut off line in a pinch so it just folds out, fits right in your wallet, purse, whatever, in a pocket. Just easy to keep. I just keep mine slipped like I did with the one I'm giving you. Keep it slipped behind. Um, so it's always there in a pinch if you need it. Uh, two odd owner worm hooks, offsets. Five odd extra wide gaps, big bass catchers. Some bobber stops for those Texas rigs and those worm weights if you want bobber stops to run them. Twist lock, four odd, straight shank. Love twist lock, especially for for the the long worms. Um, you know, it protects your bait, makes them last a lot longer. So I got some some twist locks I'm throwing in there for you. A headlamp for night fishing, or if you're working on your boat at night, you're going out or coming in, you got an emergency lantern, pop it on your head. Got some mosquito hooks, two odd. My go-to for uh, drop shotting has always been a mosquito hook or like a like a, a barbless. Um, like a bar barbless octopus hook. It's just, that's what I do. Um, I know that a couple of episodes back they had that box where uh, they were packaging hooks in and uh, the daichis were marketed as a, wor as, a, as a drop shot hook, but they were just a long shank worm hook. I, I would never use those. I, I use mosquito hooks for my drop shots. That's just me. A little quick and easy selection. Uh, there's a couple of hooks in here, some beads, uh, a couple of like knockoff brush hogs. This is rock ready to fish. It's just a go-to for uh, you know some finesse ribbon tail worms and some some 
creature baits in the form of lizards. I don't really run lizards. I don't fish lizards that often, uh, except during the spawn. And uh, so, but uh, you know, here's a couple of lizards. There's a green pumpkin in there, and there's a couple black and red flakes in there for you. So that's going to come to you. And finally, a package of what I use to organize my tackle. So these are little cardboard, uh, little cardboard tabs, and they have a self-adhesive little pocket that you can stick to your plano or stick to whatever uh, surface that you have, and then you can write on that cardboard. Or I use a brother P touch, and I just print out labels, stick the labels on there, and slide it into the pouch, and you can easily change them out and organize your tackle so you know what's your wacky rig stuff, where where your worm hooks are, what is your, where's your creature baits, where are your, um, you know, your, your, your Senkos, and what have you. So you have a whole patch of 18 of these, you can label up everything. You can label your front door, your back door, and your side door. So all of this bag, tool, headlamp, tackle, terminal tackle, line, soft plastics and hard baits. It's all coming to one lucky uh, foul mouth fishing fam member, one hookaholic, and it's really simple. Uh, my birthday is the 8th of July. So you have until, from the time I post this, until the 8th of July, it's probably going to be around 10 days, to like this video, be subscribed to my channel, and it has to be public subscription. I'm going to cross-reference my list of public subscribers, or my public list of subscribers. If you're chosen and you don't make, make match up on that list, and I have it all categorized, I have a spreadsheet with my, my subscribers, I'll update it every night, uh, by midnight of the 8th, when I pick the winner. Uh, so you just have to like this video, be a public subscriber to my channel, and comment something down below in the comment section of this video. On the 8th of July at midnight, I will pick a winner, and that winner's name will be posted and pinned. So it'll be posted in the description, it'll be pinned, and then when you come back on the 9th to review this video, uh, look for the winner. The winner has to get in contact with me via the email uh, link that I'll also leave into the comments. So just email me, uh, we'll go over, you know, your, your contact information, your mailing address information, and I can ship this out. This is available to anybody in the continental United States of America. So anybody from uh, Maine to California to Florida to upstate New York, you know, Great Lakes area, is eligible to win. I just can't uh, uh, foresee shipping this outside of the United States. Uh, so that's just that. So, but, uh, in the future, I might do some some global giveaways. I probably I'll, I'll give some global giveaways as my fan base goes up. But uh, for the time being, as a gift present for you, that's what your your obligations are. Like this video, comment something below, and be a public subscriber to the video. And on the 8th of July at midnight, I will pick a, a uh, winner. That winner will have their name posted on the uh, in the comment section, you know, and, and as a pin post, and also in the description title with uh, the email link to get in touch with me with your shipping address. And you'll get all this stuff for free. Because free is me, and it should be you too. It's just my way of giving back. And like I said, it's a family tradition to share. Um, and as a caveat, what I'll say is this. In a previous video, I made mention of the, of the sides of a ship, nautical terminologies. But I purposely... I was going to do this for the 500 member giveaway. Uh, I purposely did not tell exact things. I, I, I purposely made a FUD. So there's the front of the boat, the back of the boat, the right side, and the left side. And there's nautical terms for this. And most people would say right and left, or front and back. But I didn't. I did like front and left, or back and right, or front and right, or back and left. So I purposely misconstrued the two sides, or the two directions of the ship. And I will give an extra entry for the person who, in the comment sections with their comment, leaves the two terms that I used. So if you're nautical and you know this, um, and you've been watching my videos, or you know which video to go back to, I'm not going to tell you which video it is, you have to watch my videos. It shows that I have viewership and that you're an actual avid viewer. But if you can post in the comments the two sides of the boat that I said, and I've given you the hint that it's not logical, so it's not the right side and the left side, in nautical terms. Obviously, I didn't say right side, left side. I would say, you know, the nautical terms. I'm not going to give them up either. <laughs> but
but I used them in, in, a, in, a, in a comment during a video, and it was wrong, purposely. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> but uh, um, I just I threw that in there as kind of a goofy thing just to see if anybody would comment below to see what kind of interaction I would have. So if you know that, comment that in your comment below, and you'll get a secondary entry into uh, winning this prize. There's easily over $100 worth of, of stuff here. Well, there's, yeah, well, I mean, you got a $35 bag, you got a $20 multi-tool, um, you got, this is freebie, I'm not going to count that. Yeah, there's well over $100 in tackle. It's going to cost me 50 bucks to ship this somewhere, so it's 150 bucks just roundabout uh, worth of stuff um, for free to you. So uh, I hope somebody gets some use out of this and can take their brother, their sister, their aunt, their uncle, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, or themselves, whatever, and their, and their children, uh, siblings, out on the water and spend some time and enjoy, uh, you know, a nice fishing trip. You got plenty of terminal tackle. You got plenty of uh, line, obviously, if you need to spool up a second rod or a third rod. <laughs> and uh, you got some hard baits and some soft plastics and a variety of different colors, shapes, and sizes and, 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 uh, and things. So uh, I hope this becomes very enjoyable for somebody. Again, all you got to do, comment down below something. If you want the extra opportunity to get a secondary uh, chance to win, uh, comment, you know, the, the sides of the boat that I stated in a previous video. Like this video, be a pub <coughs> public subscriber, excuse me. If you're not public, I can't uh, corroborate that you are a subscriber and thus you won't be entered. So even if you're chosen on the random cho choice, if you're not listed in my database of subscribers, uh, I I have to pick somebody else. I'm sorry, that's just how I roll. I want to make sure that it goes to somebody, not just any random person who comes along and decides to comment on, on a video. Um, I want to make sure that it's somebody who's who's part of my family, who's part of the, the, the group that we're growing here together. All right? So I hope that you do that. So like, subscribe, be subscribed, and comment below. Extra chance if you, uh, again, if you, if you list those two directions off the ship that, uh, that I stated in my previous video. And I hope this is enjoyable. You have from now, when I post this, until the 8th of July. Check back at the 9th or thereafter and see if you're the lucky winner. Get in touch with me and I will immediately ship all these goodies out to that lucky winner. I, I wish all of you good luck and uh, pre-hearted congratulations to whomever wins. But uh, this is Foul Mouth Fishing. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned to future videos. There's going to be an upcoming episode based on this right here product placement uh, I'm not affiliated with this company but it's a brand new thing and I decided to do a, f a first ever what's new review it's uh, a brand new company just came out well it's not a brand new company it's a brand new side to their company they've always they've been in existence since I think 2016 uh, but they haven't ventured into anglers into into uh, uh, fishing uh, so we'll see what happens but I'm in their first uh, first group. So, uh, tight lines, good luck to the winner and, uh, and all the participants that, uh, that come in for this, and I hope you get some great, long-lasting enjoyment. And I hope that you can share some of this with everybody else. Take somebody else out fishing, uh, take a buddy from work out, and uh, have some fun. And if you lose a bait, hey, it's nothing. It's free, right? So, God bless, take care, tight lines, and uh, I'll catch you next time.